major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton On Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Hello and welcome to this edition of Ableton On Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently able. I've always been your host, Lauren Seiler, and Arlene's here today. Say hi, Arlene. Hi, I'm Arlene Seiler. Okay. On this edition, we will focus on uh, health care and the Affordable Care Act. Um, apparently, uh, uh, well, first, let's um, thank our sponsors. April Den Air is sponsored by Washington County Mental Health, Green Mountain Support Services, and many, 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 many others. Um, the thing that's important to understand is that um, is that healthcare is extremely important, especially for people with special needs. So, um, the situation is what Vermont gets in terms of healthcare, you know, Medicare, Medicaid, uh, and certain services. Um, and a lot of countries have what we call free healthcare, um, or they pay a certain percentage uh, for health. But uh, yesterday, um, Chief Justice John Roberts and Justice Kavanaugh um, suggested Tuesday that, um, and Trump wants, the problem is Trump wants, um, President Trump wants affordable care or health care to go away or change, he says. It's too expensive. Um, Arlene, what's your um, take on the importance of affordable health care? Well, it's very important for people to, to be able to afford it. And if people are not able to afford it, what are they going to do? They need a family, have a family, have, you know, they must make, bring, bring back Obamacare. Mm -hmm. That was pretty affordable for people. Why, why, why not? Because, you know, I don't care what Trump wants. Trump is a big baby. So, <laughs> yeah. I say, Biden's going to bring it back. I know it. He's going to bring back the affordable, the, the, Obama, the Obamacare because because people can't afford it. You know, people at these times, you know, during these times, these hard times, you know, it's COVID and everything. They should, uh, you know, bring back the Obamacare. That's how I feel. Mm -hmm. The way people go to afford their Medicaid, they don't have to pay co-pay and all this other stuff. Yeah, it's like too many co-pays for medication. Yeah. It's like $3, a dollar, $3. Make up your mind. Don't pay no co-pays, you know? Mm -hmm. bring, bring back the Obamacare. You know, something that people can afford, you know? People well, according to the website, there's a website that people should um, know about, and it's www.usa.gov. And uh, um, on that website, it's, it's very important to tell people, there are lots of benef there's benefits and health insurance for people with disabilities. Um, there's short-term, long-term disability insurance. Um, there's a lot of insurances that are, um, yeah. that are going to be compromised if um, if Biden, the new president, doesn't do um, things. Um, and if you can't work, it says here, according to USA.gov, if you can't work because you're sick or injured, disability insurance is supposed to pay part of your income 
um, it, um, I mean, it'll it'll pay. It was supposed to pay your insurance. Um, you may ab you may be able to get insurance through your employer if you have an employer. Um, if not, you can buy your own policy. There, are, um, there's federal disability programs. If you have problems with that, you can uh, contact the Social Security Administration um, to find out about um, several insurances. But what we don't want, especially as advocates, what we don't want is we do not want um, health insurance to go away um, because this is going to this is going to really impact. Um, People of color, it's going to impact people with special needs. It's going to impact veterans. And by the way, today uh, is is Veterans Day. Um, it's going to impact um, the way women, um, according to uh, the new vice president elect, it's going to also impact, uh, according to uh, Harris, it's going to impact. Um, abortions and birth, uh, it's going to Im impact because those procedures are extremely too expensive. Now, just to let you know, um, let me go back a couple of administrations ago. President Kennedy, now, as you know, President Kennedy did a lot for people with special needs, especially with his family. Um, President Kennedy in 19... Uh, in, in the 1960s, did a lot for mental health. So let's uh, go and see what he did. Um, you know, that's important too. Okay. On, 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 on October 31st, 1963, President John F. Kennedy signed a bill uh, to free many thousands of um, Americans with mental illness from life in institutions. It envisioned building 1,500 outpatient mental health centers to offer them community-based living instead. Um, and... That was the last bill that was really signed by, uh, according to NPR News, um, yeah, the last bill signed by President Kennedy and the Mental Health, uh, the Mental Health Act. Um, on the, yeah, because um, these services are extremely important. Um, Trump wants to keep people with special needs in institutions. That can't happen. That cannot happen. So on October 31st, 1963, President John F. Kennedy signed a bill to free many thousands of Americans with mental illness from life in institutions. It envisioned building 1,500 outpatient mental health centers in order <clears throat> to offer them community-based care instead. The bill would be the last piece, of last piece of legislation that would ever be signed by President Kennedy because he was assassinated three weeks later. So, um, you know, you had the Rosa F. Kennedy Center in the Bronx. Also, you had Special Olympics, and you had um, a lot of things that were instituted by President Kennedy. Um, because, you know, to help people with special needs and to help, um, you know, health care is extremely important. Of course, you need it. Because, you get sick, you need it. Mm-hmm. I mean... You know, people, any age, you know, they need mm -hmm. it. You know, you still, you still need your health insurance to help you pay for the big expenses. You don't need, you know... Need to pay on their own. Yeah, because um, it's it's very hard for people to pay on their own um, with health insurance. Matter of fact, let, 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 let's go into how it's expensive health insurance can be. Oh, it could be 
What? I'm sorry? I'll give everybody free health care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it, it, it just depends. Now, yeah, so he, he, here we go. Um, according to Obamacare, Um, now, what is the Affordable Care Act? The Affordable Care Act is known as Obamacare because they, they might change it to, to uh, Biden Care. Um, was developed to help individuals access affordable housing, and sh ha housing, health insurance, uh, uh, <clears throat> sorry, affordable health insurance due to health insurance marketplace where Americans can purchase federally Funded and subsidized health insurance during open enrollment. Okay. Why can't we have universal health care like Israel does? You say that again? I said, why can't we have universal health care like Israel does? Um, I don't have an answer to that. Um, in order to qualify um, for health insurance, you must sign up. Uh, during the open enrollment period, and people can be still eligible if you um, have a qualifying event such as change of jobs, getting married, divorce, moving, etc. But how, how come Kyle has a good health care? Kyle has good health care. It, well, it depends on the country, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, which they would now, just, you know, regulate the prices. Because that's they do in Canada. They regulate the prices of the medicine, the government there. Mm -hmm. And they don't do that here, they should. Make it much cheaper. Mm -hmm. um. Well, we're not too far from Canada, but we can go there to get our medications. <laughs> Okay. okay, let's see what the um, Trump administration is doing for health care, because it's, it's a little bit haphazard. But President Donald Trump's health care vision is putting America first by providing higher quality health care at lower cost. Um, and, and we're, you know, and back into the hands of Americans. Um, for those that were... Uh, have problems with affordable health care coverage. Deliver hospital price transparency and allow the American people to access trusted doctors. President Trump has always guaranteed um, to protect people with pre-existing conditions. Okay? Um, uh, as a matter of fact, November is National Diabetes Month according to the White House. Um, but and, you know, the point is, you can't take away, the point of this um, commentary and show today is that anything that was put for good, um, you cannot take away just because you say it's too expensive. That's the thing. Healthcare is important, especially to people with special needs. Huh? They need it so we go to the doctor, we can get their medicine, you know what I'm saying? Move, cl move closer to the phone. We can get their medical, we, we need to get our services. Huh? They said we need to get our medical services. Can you move closer to the phone, please? Yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's very... It's very extremely important for that um, in, in terms of health care. 
And now, uh, pre existing conditions can mean anything uh, from cerebral palsy to um, um, certain things that um, impede your daily life. Um, it's like um, cancer and other things that you know people have problems with and need good health insurance. Huh? Okay, now according to President Trump's administration, um, this is dated October 29th, um, the, Trump, the Trump administration finalized uh, the most far-reaching price transparency reform in the history of American health care, fulfilling a commitment President Donald J. Trump made to the American people as a result of the action of health care insurance companies will finally be required to disclose to the public the price they, they pay for covered um, services and prescription drugs. Mm -hmm. Further, uh, Furthermore, uh, insurance companies will be required to disclose the estimated cost of a pa that a patient has to pay prior to receiving care. Why? Um, example, if you can't afford health care and really need a hospital, what, I mean, they can't turn people away. I no. mean, years ago, they used to turn people away uh, by basis of color. But in the 1960s, you had to go to another hospital if one couldn't treat you. Yeah. So... Yeah. Healthcare, colleges, etc. Uh, in June of last year, President Trump signed the Healthcare Transparency, Transparency, Transparency Executive Order and promised the American people that he would take on the special interests to who have kept patients in the dark for generations. Coupled with this administration's prior actions to hospital price transparency. Today's rule on insurer, insurer price transparency follows through on the commitment to give patients unprecedented visibility into their care and how much it costs. Yeah. Um, you know, they should tax the rich and, you know, um, really give us free health care. Yeah. 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 You know, you try not to eat while you're talking to me. Here's the difference between Medicaid, because we have a couple minutes left here. Um, now, there's an organization um, called Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services, CMS. Um, Medicaid is a United States and federal state program that helps medical costs for some people with limited incomes and resources. Um, the purpose of Medicaid and the importance of it, Medicaid provides um, health, uh, health coverage to millions of Americans, including eligible low-income adults, children, and pregnant women. So if things change with affordable care, um, hopefully people don't have to pay for Medicaid and Medicare or pay, pre pay premiums, including, in, um, so health care coverage for millions of Americans, including low-income adults, children, pre pregnant women, elderly adults, and 
people with disabilities. Um, Medicaid is administered by states according to federal requirements. The program is uh, funded jointly by states and the federal government. Okay. Um, yeah. Federal. Well, that's what Medicare, that's what... Okay. Um, what they should and should do are two different things. Okay. Right now, the administration is going through tough times. Okay. Um, hopefully, people won't have to pay for the COVID... Uh, um, Vaccine, um, which reminds me, um, matter of fact, is this, this is real, real important. Um, Walgreens and certain pharmacies, matter of fact, and COVID vaccine. Um, according to Walgreens, Walgreens is going to be one of the, um, the Trump administration is partner partnering with, uh, CVS and Walgreens, um, to provide COVID-19 vaccine and to protect vulnerable in Americans in long-term care facilities. So if a person is in a nursing home, like, uh, Vermont has an uptick uh, in COVID, and the last um, person who had gotten COVID was this past week, according to WCAX. Um, so a lot of people who need the vaccine will get it, uh, and Walgreens will be partnering with um, CVS and other pharmacies. Um, You know, that's that's very important here. Yeah, it no. says here, yeah. So it says here, the Trump administration partners with CPS and Walgreens to provide uh, COVID vaccine, a uh, COVID-19 vaccine to protect vulnerable Americans in long-term care facilities. To me, the Trump administration, it, it's called Operation Warp Speed. Um, the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services um, and the Department of Defense uh, announced today agreements with CVS and Walgreens to provide and administer the COVID-19 vac <clears throat> vaccine to residents of long-term care facilities, L LTCF, nat uh, nationwide with no out-of-pocket costs, um, protecting especially vulnerable Americans with people with dis vulnerable Americans who are disabled um, have been a critical part of the Trump administration's work to combat COVID and long-term care facilities. Residents may be part of the pri of prioritized groups with initial COVID-19 vaccines in efforts to um, that their in efforts there, there that there are enough doses, the far the pharmacy partnership um, for long term care programs provide complete management of the COVID vaccine process. This means that long term care staff that long term care residents and staff across the country will be able to safely and efficiently get vaccinated um, for uh, COVID, and um, it will also help to minimize the burden. Um, so Trump, even though people don't agree with him, he's doing certain, certain things for COVID, but hopefully the Biden administration will do more and make sure 
uh, the health care from Obamacare and other programs will not go away. Um, you know, but right now, America's really having problems with COVID. So the quicker we get a vaccine, the better. And the quicker partner, um, you know, partner pharmacies will be helping with that. Anything you want to say before we end? Who? Uh, who? Israel? Israel, yes. Let's hope they bring it here because they're testing one on their, on their citizens. Because I think, I think now people are getting scared, um, you know, in terms of the COVID vaccine. You know, a, a lot of people don't want to go outside. A lot of people are not... Um, Mm-hmm. Well, I'm, I mean, over, over anything. I mean, Trump is also saying that the, uh, you know healthcare is too expensive. But how can you say something is expensive if you don't try it out? And he can afford it. No, I don't think the president can pay stuff out of his own pocket. I don't think he's uh, he's allowed to do that. Well, he's rich. He's got book health insurance. <laughs> Anyway, uh, for more information on um, on uh, health care uh, and uh, Social Security and Medicare and Medicaid, you can contact the Social Security Office, the National Social Security Office, at 1-800-772-1213. That number again is 1-800-772-1213. One two one three. Um, there's no need to be scared with um, your health uh, insurance because um, you know no one's going to take it away from you. Um, they can't. That's against the law. Um, this puts an end to this edition of Able Den on Air. Um, before we. And we would like to say thank you to our sponsors, Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Mental Health, and many, many others. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time. Major sponsors for Ableton on Air include Green Mountain Support Services of Vermont, Washington County Mental Health, Ale Israel. Food sponsors for Ableton on Air include Geffen Foods Israel, Osem Foods Israel. Major media sponsors for Ableton on Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, U.S. Press Corps, Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify.